friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm scrapbooking a little photo of my cat Remy and I'm using the Coco Vanilla Studios, I believe it's called Happy Days Collection and I think this is going to be my last video with this collection. If you've been following along in this series, I have been doing kind of like a kit series in a sense. So um, at the beginning of the series and it's all in a playlist, I did like a haul video and putting together a kit and then I have made many different projects and um, and at the end of the series, which is going to be my next video for Scrapbook Nerd, I'm going to show you all of the projects I made, what I used up, what's left of the kit and see see how much, see how many projects it made me. So I'm excited for that. Um, you can look forward to that video, I believe next week if I'm not mistaken, but you can see here um, in this layout or like all with what I'm using that I'm basically at the end of everything. And again, you'll see that in the next video, but um, there's not much left. I'm working, I, I'm organizing the ephemera I have, a lot of it is cut aparts. We have some floral pieces and then some random embellishments. And then of course we have um, some chipboard that's left, but basically like just a few pieces left of multiple items. So I'm kind of bummed that I didn't use up things fully to get them out of my stash. But what I'm going to do, and I'll probably talk about this more in the, the next video, is I'm going to put these with probably other Coco Vanilla Studio products or some other collection that kind of matches these vibes and colors, the colorfulness of it all. And I'm going to put them together and kind of make it a more full box of supplies, if that makes sense. So... I feel really good about everything I made and what I used. And again, I'll, I'll go through all that in the next video. Um, uh, it will, it, I've made like various types of things, a tag flip, handmade embellishments, um, scrapbook layouts. So I'll go through that all in uh, the video. But for now, I was just kind of playing around with what I had left. You could see I try various things here. I'm moving, moving things around. Um, to try and figure out kind of what placement works best. Um, and yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't know, didn't know the layout to do for this because um, like I said, I'm not working with much because I've used up a lot of this stuff. So um, I'm trying to use a lot of these cut aparts. You can see I'm using these word stickers here, but I don't know, I wasn't loving that either. Um, of course, florals can make such an impact and can be used, in my opinion, on most most layouts. So um, florals are easy and this came with a floral pack. So that made it super easy to um, make make different kinds of layouts and projects and all that. So, um, yeah, love that. So, of course, putting some flowers in the corner. I really wanted to use that little like banner thing in the top right hand corner. I really wanted to use that, um, but I just couldn't find the right placement for it. And I didn't want to force it as much as I wanted it. I really didn't like as much as I wanted to use it and I love it and I think it's so cute. I just didn't want to force using it. So I'll use it on a project in the future, but this one just wasn't it, which is totally okay. Um, oh, there's a squirrel. I was wondering what Remy was looking at at the window. The squirrel is, is um is either burying nuts or like taking them out of the ground from our garden <laughs> thanks a lot squirrel but um i like saw something moving and, her and remy was getting really excited so i was like what is that anyway uh back to the layout <laughs> you can see i'm trying so many different variations here and I felt like I was pushing things a little bit. I felt like I was pushing things more than they needed to and like forcing things that didn't need to be forced like that. So um, <clears throat> I just try was trying out different things. And then I thought, what if I take some of this paper? So I pull out some of the scraps because it felt really heavy on the left hand side. So I wanted to add, balance it out a little bit by adding something on the right hand side. So that's when I got some of these scraps of paper and I love flower paper in any collection. I think flowers are just so pretty and like I said, kind of like versatile for any, almost any type of project. Um, I think they can be used for mostly anything. 
Um, so I'm gonna take some of these papers and rip up the edges to give it some texture, make it look a little less flat. And I also used up the, um, the foam um, stickers, the little circles that I had. If you watch the haul video, that first video, um, I got these um, little um, foam circle stickers. What am I trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and I used up the last one in this video, so it kind of worked out perfect for the finale, I guess. Um, but I love those foam circles. They work really well. Um, they're a good height and they're they, I've said this before in multiple videos, but they have like these little tabs that you can pull the backing off, which is nice because then you're not like peeling at it for a million hours, or at least what it feels like. So there's these little tabs where you can just peel the backing off. So the title for this is So Sweet, and Remy was so sweet. And um, uh, yeah, so I had the chipboard, they're like chipboard um, words or titles, and I think I still had two more left. So like I said, I didn't use it all up, but something like a chipboard title that's black and white is so versatile and can be used really for anything. So I'm not worried about having that left in my stash because I will be able to find many ways to use it easily. So that is no big deal. Um, and yeah, adding another little floral bunch here to kind of even it out because we have one on the left. And like I said, the left hand side felt so heavy. So to kind of even that out a little bit was good. Um, and using up almost all of the florals here, I got pretty close to using them up, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I'm sure I will use up the rest in no time once I combine it with some more things from my stash to really use everything up. But um, I got pretty close, so I'm pretty happy with that, pretty satisfied um, and pleased with how much I was able to use. So i um, not too worried about having some things left because um, the things that I do have left can easily be used, again, like I said, with other collections. Um, between the florals and the titles and there's like little um, heart stickers, kind of like enamel dots, um, that can be easily be used for other things or like in other things. I'm just gonna add some little bits and pieces all around the layout, kind of scatter some more embellishments. I love these little hearts. Um, I think those are cute, so I put those up on foam to give it a little bit of dimension. And I actually still have a lot of papers left from this collection, um, which is interesting. So, I don't know, I gotta figure out kind of how I can use those. I mean, obviously, like, I can use them pretty easily, but, um, yeah, find the perfect collection to match this with. And honestly, I don't have a lot of paper. I'm not really a paper hoarder. I don't buy a lot of paper. I don't buy a lot of, um, uh, paper pads. And the only reason for that is because, like, when you buy a paper pad, there's so many papers that come with it. So, and I don't, I don't use a lot of pattern paper backgrounds, um, so I feel like paper lasts a long time for me, so I don't buy a lot of it. Um, it's more like stickers or embellishments that I go through pretty fast. Um, so that's, so it's kind of nice to have some of these papers to add to my stash to freshen it up a little bit. I love like the rainbow papers and all that. Really pretty, love Coco Vanilla Studio, I love their collections. <clears throat> so. Um, this is a really, really fun one. And I have lots of labels in this collection, lots of um, word stickers, all the things that I love to use and that are easy for me to use. So that is, that's great for me. Um, what else? What else? Putting some more pieces up on foam, just kind of trying to even it out. And I made a little bit of like a triangle here with the top right hand corner and then the flowers on the left and then the bottom part where there's like the labels there. So it's kind of like a visual triangle there. That's kind of what I was trying to do because again, like I was saying, like it was feeling lopsided, but I wasn't making it symmetrical either. Like I didn't want that either. So there was a lot that I was kind of like trying to balance out here. And um, yeah, so anyway, this is it. I'm gonna leave the link for Scrapbook Nerd where I got this all down below. So make sure you check out those links. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.